Well, hello, Facebook friends, and welcome back to another edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. We are live on Facebook on the Avoya Travel Network page again, like we are most every Thursdays. We certainly appreciate your time. I'm your host, Chris Green, the Director of Network Growth for Avoya Travel. And wow, it's been another crazy week in the travel industry, lots of ups and downs. And let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this week's edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update, some industry insights, and our eye on the industry, because we've got a lot of ground to cover today. So we're going to lead again with positive vaccine news concerning the, the COVID-19 crisis, right? So last week, you might remember, we discussed Pfizer Pharmaceutical. They were the first pharmaceutical company to release uh, their late stage clinical trial information, very positive, over 90% effectiveness as far as their vaccine was concerned. As soon as that news came out, all of the cruise stocks just popped big time, right? So flash forward a week later, two now, two successful late stage trial vaccines from two different companies working independently. Moderna uh, announced this week again on Monday that their effectiveness rate was 94%. So very exciting there. And then I read that Dr. Fauci, uh, who's always in the news, had said that probably by about April of 2021, anybody that is interested in getting a vaccine, uh, one should be available. So they should have enough of a rollout that by April 2021, and I think that's really going to be important for our clients. I think it's going to give them strong hope that they're going to be able to return to the lifestyle that they really love, that demand is pent up. And in 2021, I only see things improving after that. So fingers crossed on that. Staying with COVID news, again, uh, first of its kind, the Viking uh, Cruise Line announced that they're going to have the very first COVID lab at sea. Yeah, a full-on COVID lab at sea. Um, this is going to be the non-invasive saliva type testing for COVID-19. And their plan is that every single day, at least in the short term, that they're sailing, they're going to test all passengers and all of their crew every single day. And, and they have that capability right there um, on the ship. So again, I think that's going to be a, a very important, innovative thing. And I wouldn't be surprised that this is going to be like a domino effect, that once you see the Viking and the Viking Star announce this, that a lot of the other cruise lines will eventually get on board with this kind of technology where they're able to. And again, this is going to be a big boost for consumer confidence in their ability to cruise in a safe and yet still fun manner. A celebrity announced some really important news this week as far as commissions and travel professionals and a much more all-inclusive offering, right? They're going to pay commissions on everything they promise. Um, tips, drinks, shore excursions. I mean, very exciting stuff should help the uh, travel agent community boost their bottom line at a really crucial time. A lot of vendors have already had this kind of wrapped around with certain promotions, but Celebrity is certainly the first one to step up to the plate and say, hey, this is brand new policy. A Carnival Cruise Lines announced this week that they're not going to have any um, sailings as far as uh, paid passengers on board in the month of January, right? So they've canceled another month of sailings. And in the past, this has really been bad news, but to be honest with you, if you've kept up to date at all with the CDC and their conditional sale order, um, it really should come as no surprise, right? So let's review that for a quick second. They have to do test sailings. They have to report their findings back to the CDC. They have to get approval after those test sailings and all of that has to be done 60 days prior to them having any revenue sailings. So let's just do the math, right? I mean, it's the 19th of November now. You flash forward two months, middle of January, Nobody's done a test sailing yet, so no surprise. And again, I'm not going to be surprised at all. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if the stock market kind of avoided the news. It won't affect the crew stocks. I mean, it might. I'm no, I, I don't own them, so I don't know what's going to happen. But I wouldn't be surprised if everybody is just kind of expecting that to happen, that all of the major cruise lines are going to have to cancel for January. I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm already preparing for February the same thing. My hope is that maybe by the 1st of April, we can start to see those revenue sailings. And just after the first of the year, we'll start to see those test sailings. And speaking of test sailings, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Royal Caribbean and our good friend, Vicki Freed, the senior vice president over at Royal Caribbean. And, and during her weekly coffee chat, she had uh, put out the word they were looking for volunteers for when they put together their test sailings, right? And you talk about an overwhelming success. Over 140,000 people volunteered. Pick me, pick me, I want to go, right? 140,000 people volunteered. 
showing that longtime cruisers, they miss it and they can't wait to get back on the, the high seas. So why does this matter to you, the travel professional? Well, this is a very fluid situation. And even though the changes are not as rapid as they were in the springtime, things are still moving really fast. And you need a partner that help you keep your finger on the pulse of the changes that are going on with the industry, right? And in an efficient way, in a way that respects your, your time management, and if you're looking around at the resources that are provided to you by your host or whatever, and they don't measure up to that standard, you might want to look around and see what else is out there. And I promise you, my team is more than happy to discuss our high level resources and see if it makes sense for us to put together the beginning stages of a great shared success relationship. Moving forward with authentically Avoya, and it really is one of my favorite segments, Avoya Travel certainly one of the most successful companies in the travel industry, uh, award after award after award. From the great folks over at the Travi Awards, we have won for six years in a row now. Six years, I think I did that math wrong, right? You're supposed to do it on the camera, you're supposed to like that. Anyway, uh, six years, you know what six is. We've won number one host agency of the year. Five years in a row, best host agency website. From the people who put together the Magellan Awards, what many consider in our industry the gold standard, Avoya Travel between 2011 and 2019 have won awards for our travel agent marketing, our website, education program, advertising, marketing campaign, online travel service marketing, our involvement in the community. We've been part of the American Express Travel Network for over 30 years. And since 2000, so for 19 consecutive years, Avoya Travel has been an American Express Travel Representative Excellent Award winner. We were the first agency to win the brand new CLIA Hall of Fame Travel Agency Innovator Award in 2019. That goes hand in hand with the fact that our two co-founders, Brad and Van Anderson, are both in the CLIA Hall of Fame as individuals. We've picked up multiple Partner of the Year awards from the Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal and Celebrity and Carnival, American Express, Oceana, MSC Cruises, and many more, right? And the thing is this, status matters. It opens doors. It allows Avoya Travel to negotiate deals and benefits that translate to more sales, more repeat clients, and a consistent way for an agency to continue to build and thrive even in the most difficult of times. Let's move forward and talk a little about some smart solutions for you and your travel agency, right? Um, technology is key in today's environment. Your ability to be competitive, to make smart time management choices and overall success depend on it. The members of the Avoya Travel Network have access to a full suite of best in class resources, including a full array of business intelligence reports engagement, right? Find out what kind of engagement your clients are having, and then real-time metrics, all designed to keep a travel professional, and again, keep that finger on the pulse of what's going on with their clients, and it certainly segues perfectly right into this. Last week, we teased the big special offer, and, and it's here. This promotion to be able to affiliate with the Avoya Travel Network. Some of you may have already received the email, some of you saw the PR release. Our phones have been ringing off the hook from great experienced travel professionals. And that's what this promotion is geared towards, experienced travel professionals. We're looking for the kind of agents and agencies that might have some of those future cruise credits, some of those future uh, tour credits. And in exchange for you bringing those with you when you affiliate with Avoya Travel for a qualified agent and agency, we're willing to waive our initial 495 affiliation fee, right? Come explore with complete flexibility, not a long-term contract, just an initial six month agreement. You can contact us for eligibility. Again, we're looking for experienced travel professionals. Our technology is best in class. Our business intelligence is best in class. Our marketing is best in class. And we're very fortunate, along with the amazing members of the Avoya Travel Network, that with those FCCs and those FTCs, because of our combined efforts, we are seeing a much higher than what the rest of the industry is doing as far as successful deployment of those credits, putting real money on the books for our, for our members in the Avoya Travel Network. And that makes a huge difference. So please, my team is standing by. They can't wait to get into the nitty gritty of the details with you about this special offer. So please reach out. Let's have a conversation. Let's discuss your level of success. Let Avoya Travel tell you a little bit about the resources that we offer. 
Find out about our top level resources surrounding technology and marketing, ongoing professional development, business intelligence, back office. Let's get you a demonstration of our elite technology and just see if it makes sense for everybody. Again, Avoya Travel is famous for putting together shared success relationships. And that's what this promotion is geared towards, a true win-win from a travel professional with experience and Avoya Travel, the leading host agency in, in, in leisure travel. And again, combined, we might be able to do some really amazing things as we try to rebuild our business in 2021. So we look forward to you reaching out. Again, there is my contact information on the screen. You can always reach out to me individually, chris.green at avoyatravel.com. There's my phone number. You can reach us through the avoyanetwork.com website. Again, here on Facebook, on the Avoya Travel Network Facebook page. Um, we're not going to be here next week because it's Thanksgiving. And then we're also going to be off the following Thursday because it's Avoya Travel's national conference. And I'll be involved with that on that Thursday, our normal time. But we are going to be back in three weeks, right, on the 10th of December. And we're going to have more information. But we'd love to hear from you and just start that engagement. You know, for the first time, I don't know, probably since like January of this year, I really see some light at the end of the tunnel. 2021 has a lot of promise. I'm really excited. I hope we get a chance to hear from you so that we can connect and have that conversation and see if together again, we can't put together that shared success relationship. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration, whatever you choose to do, be safe, be well. And we look forward to seeing you again in three weeks on December 10th, right back here for another edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. Take care, everyone.